Hey, what's going on everybody? Red Red's Homestead. Thank you for stopping by to watch. Well, tonight we are going to be doing a hard feed. The first hard feed that plants are going to get. They're getting lengthy. They're getting some girth on them. So I'd say it's time. See the tomatoes? They're just taking off. They're almost just a bit taller than the sunflowers over there. So we did four different tomatoes. And I mean, they're all, this TS-600 from Mars Hydro has been doing the job, holding it down. Very impressed. You can see here we overdid our squash. I kind of overcompensated, so now I don't have anywhere to put those. So we may just have to find room. Now that we have a tiller, there's no excuses, right? <laughs> Alright, so this products that we're going to be using to feed with tonight will be a organic worm casting extract for gardening enthusiasts and all plant types. This is from Terra Thrive. I got this at Tractor Supply. It's $20 a jug and they have it in a bag form. Um, not a liquid, obviously. It's more of a soil type. It's $20 a bag also. Uh, silica Blast from Bionicare. Uh, this is what stuff I use all the time. Uh, it's good for growing in harsh environments. Really helps the plant uh, flourish in extreme environments. Uh, it's for hydroponics and cocoa or for soil. I use it with everything. Uh, the fish plant food here, the fish emulsion. You guys should know this very well. You see it everywhere. Uh, this one we get from uh, Amazon. Uh, the cow mag from Bionicare is we get from Amazon as well. It's a nitrogen base, so it's for vegetation, transition, and bloom. You can use it all the time, uh, which is what I do. It's cal calcium, magnesium, and iron. Iron's the plus. And uh, these two things here are going to raise the pH, which we'll get into that in just a second. So to conquer that, we're going to use FOOP, pH down. Uh, this is another Amazon eBay product. This was like, I don't know, $16 maybe. It may have gone down. Uh, but these are about $20 a bottle. This was about $20 a bottle. But, you know, for under 100 bucks, you can really produce some nice, gorgeous plants, especially if you're looking for them for harvest to eat. So I'm going to put you guys in the tripod, and I'm going to show you how I do it. All right, so basically, whenever I like to feed my plants, we have to go over the pH, the ppms, to see what our water's at. And that's going to be our stepping stone to how we get everything to where we want it. So, this water came right out of my tap. Uh, room temperature, the fastest way to do that is to turn the hot water all the way on, wait for it to get hot, and then turn the cold water all the way on. Wait for it to even itself out. And typically, that's room temperature. So that's what I like to use. Um, checking the pH, we're gonna be using this general hydroponic pH test indicator with a wide spectrum from 4.0 to 8.5. Most plants are going to want to be in the 6.0 range that are nitrogen loving, fruit bearing. Okay? So that's the easiest way to remember. Tennis ball yellow is what we want. I like to use these little applicators. They're in millimeters. You go 5, 10, 15, 20. I guess it would be 25. You pull it all the way down. I uh, got these at the, the Dollar Tree. Four in a bag for a dollar. Can't beat that. So, check my pH. I'm going to fill up my little test indicator. Not all the way full. Cool. Take three drops of this stuff right here. Put the cap back on it. Shake it up. You can see it's more of a green. So we are in about... I'd call that 7.0. So... We're about 7.0 right out of the tap. So we automatically gonna have to bring that down to a more of a tennis ball color. And as we add the cow mag and the silica blast that we're about to use, it's going to raise our pH. Which is why we're gonna be using the food pH down. Right. This is the cow mag from Bionicare. Anything that's ever liquid, shake it up. You don't know how long it's been sitting on a shelf or in a box somewhere. 
Shake it really good. Now, this is brand new, so I'm going to have to... Give me something to stab it with. I should have opened this before I hit record. That would have made it a lot easier. All right. So since it's the first time giving it this, I'm going to start with the five. Just like that. Five milliliters of CalMag Plus. I like to stick it in there, pull some more water in there with it, kind of mix it up a little all the way, and then slam her down. I do it again just to rinse it. I don't want to mix all my chemicals together in my applicator. All right, silica blast from Bionic Care. Same thing. put those two in there we're gonna give this a little stirring now the stirring or your shaking of it when you shake it all up the air gap is very important okay because this is going to be your agitator it's going to go up and down and back and forth and slosh all around mixing everything up evenly for you all right now we're going to check the pH again just to show you where it's at Now you can see it's like blue, okay? Blue over here is 8.5, so it's pretty much tapped out on the uh, tester. So now we gotta bring that back down. Because I'm looking for a more of a tennis ball color is what I want. Let me just rinse this dye out of here. Now the food, pH down. Uh, it's really good stuff. I like it. It's not harmful. You know, most uh, most of those real cheap pH down kits stay away from those. They do not hold pH very long. Once you, even though you test it and it shows you one, and you pour it in your plants, it was not going to hold that pH in that plant. So it's very cheap stuff. I don't recommend you getting it. Yo, Foop is what I use. It's never let me down. Uh, whatever your pH is out of your tap is really you're gonna have to play with it okay I use a dropper like a little squeeze applicator and um, it makes it really good to get a nice steady drop because for me I need 20 drops after I've added the, the two the silica blast and the CalMag plus I've got it to where I need 20 drops to bring that bright blue down to a more yellow I just fill it up and I hold it over here and I just count 20 drops One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Alright, we'll give that a nice little shaking. Last time I'm checking the pH, hopefully, if my calculations are correct. Bam. Tennis ball yellow. That's what you want. 
All right, so after that, we've got our pH down where we want it. We've got our nutrients here. We come in here, we're gonna add a little bit of this fish emulsion from Alaska. Let's give it a nice shaking too because it's real thick and it'll come out like a like, like toothpaste if you don't shake it up. And don't get any on you. This stuff stinks and I don't care what you wash your hands with, you're still gonna smell it. Not a good smell, not a good smell. Just a little bit, maybe like a tablespoon if you can do it real slow. You just don't want much. And we made a mess. Right. I did not bring a rag out here. Just gonna have to man up and do it. Turn it upside down in shape because it will all go to the bottom. It's very heavy. Using your air bubble as an agitator. All right. Next, we'll be using the uh, worm casting tea from uh, Terra Thrive. Uh, Tractor Supply has this. Twenty dollars a jug. Use it wisely. a little bit in there to make it raise up. We'll put that back on because it's nasty. One more shaking. All right, and that's it. It is ready for watering. All right, so I just use a uh, two liter bottle, drill some holes in the top. Makes it real easy. I can get in where I need to. I'm just gonna give it a light little squeeze. Try to just run it through them. Good old hard feed is what I like to call it. I think I had a couple fall over. Let me shut this stand back up. Get a little heavy. But see, this is what the silica blast is going to do. It's going to strengthen our stocks, make them more hard. Because you want your stocks to be more like a pencil. I do. I like to take them, just kind of check on them and squeeze them. Just feel the thickness in them. A good strong tomato. That's what I, that's what we're looking for. All right. Well, I'll show you guys what else is going on. The lettuce. If we can get in a cat or something coming in here digging around and it messed up my line, threw everything over there. Uh, the beans itself. They are coming along great, climbing the trellis. Peas are on this side, beans are on this side, and this whole thing here is beans. And the peppers, the peppers are taking off pretty good. I'm getting lots of mushrooms in my pepper bed. I don't know if you guys can see all those little white things. They're everywhere. They're all mushrooms. So, 
I saw a mushroom identification app. I need to try and see if I can't look them up, see what they are. So you see the onions are laid down, something got in here. Got the land on them or something, I'm not sure. Uh, but they had the hay from the strawberries all through over here. So it may have been a chicken. Chicken may have got in here. Pesky things. Alright guys. That's how I do it. I feed my plants. So y'all learn something. Go get the stuff to feed your plants and grow some good food. Alright, I'll see y'all.